I'm a Navy chaplain serving with Marines. <clears throat> Marines don't have uh, their own chaplains. Uh, they use uh, Navy chaplains just like they use Navy doctors. So we have uh, about a third of all Navy chaplains are currently serving with Marine Corps units. And uh, when you say serving, uh, where, are you, where are you stationed? Well, right now I'm stationed uh, with the 1st Marine Expeditionary Force in Camp Pendleton, California. But uh, do you go out to uh, the Mideast? Uh, well, uh, I go, uh, you know, wherever my unit goes. So I mean, we do have uh, parts of my unit stationed uh, literally all over the world. So I will travel with them or to go visit them. Where have you been? Um, well, uh, did a couple tours in Iraq, a um, couple tours in Afghanistan, and a couple other places. But you've been in battle situations? Yes, yes, I have. Uh, you know, you uh, the Navy chaplains uh, go where the Marines are. So the Marines are in, in, in combat, uh, we go with them. And uh, do you a chaplain to only Jewish sold, uh, Jewish Marines? <laughs> no, actually, uh, uh, I uh, take care of uh, of everybody. Uh, you know, I will obviously uh, Jewish rights. Uh, not last rites, but uh, prayers and so on. I only do for Jewish personnel, but uh, pastoral counseling, just general care, concern, morale, welfare, I do that for, for everybody, for all of my Marines. What would you say is the biggest part of a, a chaplain's job? Um, creating spiritual resiliency in our, in our sailors and Marines, uh, making them spiritually resilient to, to face uh, whatever they're gonna face. When you say that's, really, that's really what we do. We're, uh, uh, the secondary job is we, we serve as advisors to our commanding officers on matters of uh, morale, uh, matters of religion. Mat uh, we, we're the principal advisors on matters of the free exercise of religion in the military to, to the commanders. Uh, do you encounter, have you encountered in, I don't know, how long have you been doing it? Uh, I've been in, in the military coming up on 27 years now. Have you encountered resistance to uh, Chaplin as, as being Jewish? Uh, absolutely not. To the contrary, I found uh, great acceptance. Uh, you know, sailors and Marines, they, they just want their chaplain to take care of them. They don't care if, you know, you're Jewish, Muslim, Buddhist. Uh, uh, you know, if you take care of them, uh, you know, they will, they will show you know, respect and deference and take care of you. And what are their needs that they would that come to you for or that you would volunteer to do? Um, everything from just uh, being a, uh, a hearing ear on, on you know, personal problems, uh, boyfriend-girlfriend problems, family problems, to uh, you know, these are young 18 to 23-year-olds who are dealing with some of the big questions in life in very hard situations. And, uh, death, life and death. Life and death, um, the taking of life. Um, and so on. So uh, these are all issues and uh, one of the things we do is we help them process through this and uh, uh, you know uh, help them uh, come to terms with what other country is uh, calling them to do. Uh, is there any understanding of um, radical Islam as a motivation against non-Muslims as a, a part of the understanding of the war that they're fighting? Um, I, I think there is. You know, the, these are uh, you know pretty bright young men and women, and they, you know, they, they're well read, and they they, they know uh, uh, you know why why they're fighting. I mean, is it uh, their their motivations? Is it un understood in or explored in religious terms? Uh, for some it is, and for some it isn't. Uh, you know, they're there to, to defend our country, and uh, they're basically there to uh, do what the National Command Authority, the President, uh, and, and uh, the Congress is, is asking them to do. Uh, uh, whether they understand the motivation, you know, uh, I think they do. Um, do you have any contact with Israel through the work? I personally do not, but you know there is, uh, there are uh, connections, uh, you know, military, military contacts with uh, Israel, just like there are with many, many countries, both, both you know, Arab and European countries, South American countries. So, Israel is just one more country that we have uh, um, military contact with.